Hello and welcome to the 10th JCU Library Top Tips video. Previously, we've seen how to unpack a topic, start doing research, and find sources. Now, we'll learn a little bit about how to cite and reference the sources we found. Referencing is the term given to the act and process of indicating the sources of material and ideas in your work. You must reference every idea or piece of information that you did not invent yourself. It doesn't matter if you write it in your own words. If you did not invent that idea, then you must acknowledge the people responsible for it. Plagiarism is the reproduction without acknowledgement of another person's words, work, or expressed thoughts from any source. Plagiarism includes not only direct copying of another person's work, but also the reproduction, even if slightly rewritten or adapted, of someone else's ideas. Plagiarism can have serious consequences, such as failing subjects and even expulsion from university in severe cases. The way to avoid plagiarism is to reference everything that is not your words or ideas. Here's a handy flowchart to follow to see if you need to reference something. You can see that the first thing you need to think about is whether you have written it in your own words. If you have not, then it is plagiarism. If you have written it in your own words, you then need to consider if it is your own idea or if you got the idea from somewhere else. If it is not your own idea, then the next thing to consider is whether you have referenced it. If you have not referenced it, then it is plagiarism. To avoid plagiarizing, you need to reference everything that is not your own words or idea. There are many different ways to reference. Most referencing styles fall into one of two categories, either author date or numbered. Different disciplines at JCU have their own preferred referencing styles, and if you're not sure which one you should be using, ask your lecturer and check your subject outline. The library has referencing guides that cover the main styles used at JCU. These include APA, produced by the American Psychological Association, Harvard, AMA, which is based on Vancouver, a medical style, MLA, from the Modern Languages Association, and Chicago. You can access the guides by clicking on the referencing link on the library homepage. On the referencing guide, choose the link to the referencing style you require. You can find more information about referencing in the Credibility Creek module of the InfoSkills Road Trip. There are two elements to referencing, the in-text citation and the reference list. The in-text citation tells the reader which source in the reference list applies to that sentence or group of sentences. The reference list contains a complete list of all the sources you have cited in your assignment. Here is an example reference list for a variety of sources. The relevant referencing guide will provide information about how to complete each of these elements. Make sure to follow those examples all the way down to the commas, full stops and italics because they're all important. And here is the reference list for the ideas we found elsewhere, which we have used in this video. You can see we have referenced the definitions for referencing and plagiarism that we got from dictionaries, as well as the images we used. If you need any help, please get in touch. To find out how, click on Get Help on the library homepage. You can use library FAQs to answer some common questions, use the chat service during library opening hours, Use the Info Help contact form or phone the library for more assistance. Next, we will discuss where and how to lead your own learning.